because we buy diamonds and yeah. we know what to look wear for. We wear, we wear diamonds <laughs> and uh, we don't buy diamonds if we look at them, do we? If you look yeah. at a stone, I'll say, what do you think? And you'll yeah. look at a stone and go... Yeah, before, you know, obviously we, we have stones arrive daily um, and uh, whether they're, you know, we'll obviously have a look at the, the weight, but in terms of colour, clarity, etc., that's almost secondary in our list. It's, do we like it? Can we make it work? Can we dress it? And then we obviously look into the, the fundamentals of behind the scenes, which is the, probably the more boring stuff. But that is a lovely, lovely way for a for us to do it, but also for people that come in. So that's how that it should. I mean, obviously, we can talk about the provenance, where it, where it's from. We can traceability, certification, uh, certification. We've got all of that behind the scenes. But the most important thing: symmetry, is, polish, cut, everything. Do we like yeah. it? Do we like? Do we believe in it? Yeah. And if we believe in it. Then we're going to be we're going to uh, uh, gush about the stone and tell you about it. Yeah. And the same with coloured stones. The same with rubies, with sapphires, with emeralds. Uh, the same with the new stone coming through morganite. It's been around yeah. for a, a, not, not more than a hundred years. Morganite, yeah. uh, uh, aquamarine, amethyst, uh, yeah. Mexican fire opals. They're the naughty stones. We can tell you about those another time. <laughs> uh, the uh, there's tricks. Uh, <laughs> well, James and I actually named all the stones as characters. <laughs> And uh, the green ones we uh, we put as the, the the Irish side because the, the green you think of I Ireland. Yeah. So they're they they're the naughty ones. They got the necklaces get tangled up in the safe and we think that they've been out on the night out. <laughs> and uh, the uh, the blue ones, the royal blue sapphire sapphires, they're very yeah. regal. So they're the royal stones. So they're the posh ones. And uh, then we got uh, the Mexican fire opals. Well, uh, just Mexican outlaws. Yeah, they're a bit crazy there as well. <laughs> And uh, we, we sometimes in the little shop that we had before, and uh, on a rainy, cold winter's day, we went a bit stir crazy. And <laughs> all of our stones had uh, had stories. The opals, for example, they're the old ladies. They're the they're the they're the, the lovely old ladies that are coming. Oh, yeah. hello, dear. You okay? Yeah. Can't believe we're talking about this <laughs> actually live on, on camera. camera. <laughs> yeah. This shows that me and David spent a summer uh, following. Uh, uh, robbery last year uh, it boiled down to just me and David here um, in the in the previous shop and obviously the World Cup was on the Sun was out daily and uh, you know anyone that's obviously knows us but if they do watch this <laughs> knows that we we like to go out and socialize and take the business outside of the shop yeah. uh, but it was a case of we had uh, a shut shop uh, and uh, we, 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 we came in early and we left early and yeah. in the meantime we did a lot of talking about crazy stuff and this was naming the stones but it was a uh, name of the stone to, to i suppose just relate it in a way that is uh, semi serious is we found uh, we know what we buy and we know our stock so well which is why we can talk so passionately for such a long time about it and uh, we obviously had a massive influx of a lot of new stock at the same time and we had to you know we got given very generously by suppliers a lot of stock to to, to get going again and this was uh, i suppose a way of us getting down to separating the stock in our head and, and finding our way to, to love it and to uh, appreciate it. Because when, uh, when we've made it, when we've talked about everything from buying the stone and loving the stone to making a beautiful mount to buying six stones in, in one go yeah. and that stone we put in a pair of earrings, those two stones we put in the earrings and one in a ring and we made this and we made that and then we did it in white gold because that suited the stone and every ring and every piece of jewellery that we have in the shop has a story behind it, yeah. and then when someone comes and steals all of that, yeah. that was something that I personally, after doing this all my life, was never prepared for. Robbery and loss is always a factor that we have in this business. Uh, the threat of it happening uh, is something that we live with and deal with. Yeah. But the the loss of all of your stock and the story and the provenance and the and the hard work and love for, for yeah. your for and your the business hours and the hours and the hours of making the perfect items again that singing that's beautiful I can now sell that to a customer got wiped out in one go that was soul destroying so I suppose the madness of naming stones and stuff <laughs> as well came from came from having a soulless stock yeah and we've tried to give our stock soul again so we named them I mean it's crazy but I suppose speaking about it. That's why we did it, because yeah. we were trying to create some kind of soul and character to our stock that yeah. we didn't know. Yeah. We didn't know. It's like moving schools and turning up a new school but and going, I don't really know anyone. Funnily enough, there's stocks in the window that has 
character that in normally obviously we have an option to send the stuff back which is what we did we eventually filtered through it and we boiled down a stock pot like you would in the kitchen to a point where we had the perfect sort of uh, base to start from and then we started peppering it with our own creations loose diamonds we're doing a lot more bespoke so we were getting stones for people as we still do now and building from that um, but uh, yeah, there's still stuff in the window that I think we've got that because it has soul and there's, we've probably sent back. But it's now 60... part of the journey. Now yeah. its story is it's been on the journey. Yeah. So when it came, we didn't know its name. Yeah. We didn't really know it, but now <laughs> we've had it for 12 months. We, it shares the story that we didn't know it and now it's become part of us and we can tell, we tell customers no, only this morning. Rid of it. This morning <laughs> we bought, I bought a parcel of, uh, Seventy thousand pounds worth of diamond solitaires, one carat stones, uh, after the robbery, and we got uh, we had to restock, and I made a three stone diamond ring, uh, beautiful, and I've had some customers in today, and I got the ring out, and uh, <clears throat> that was new stock, but the story of the new stock, it was bought with the money that got paid from the robbery, yeah. and uh, it was from a parcel of stones. And I explained this to the customers and I said that I bought them really well because I bought such a big parcel. So that value I can pass on to the customer. Yeah. And if I have to buy those three individual stones now, they would cost a lot more money because I'm buying three yeah. stones rather than 43 stones. Yeah. Uh, so that gets passed on to the customer. And that ring story was, it was a phoenix from the flames kind of kind yeah. of, kind of of ring. Yeah. So uh, that's everything. In, everything has a story. If you pick up a piece of jewellery in the shop, we'll be able to tell you the story of it. Yeah.